Hi, this is a quick demonstration of uh, how you can plug in a USB headset and get it working with Audacity on our school computers. The first step you want to go through is after plugging in the USB headset, right mouse click on the volume control in the bottom right corner of your computer screen so that you can adjust the audio properties. Find the audio properties tab for audio and look under the default playback and recording device and both of those should be switched to read your USB headset. Uh, next, click on the volume for recording and make sure it's adjusted roughly halfway up the slider. Say OK and now you can start Audacity. In Audacity you'll want to also continue with the setup. Start with Edit, Preferences, and there are three places you want to take a quick look at. Devices should be set up the same way. Playback and recording should both read for your USB headset. Channels should be set to mono if you're recording from a headset so that you only have one channel being recorded. The next thing to go looking for is recording. Recording you'll probably want to check overdub so that you will be playing other tracks that you've already recorded while you record the next one. Next on the list is to go looking down at directories. Directories should be set to a local hard drive. The D drive is a good choice. If it's set anywhere else, click choose, point to the D drive, and it may ask you if it's okay if it makes a new folder for you and just say yes, okay. Any changes you make, you may have to restart before things kick in, so don't be afraid to hit the close button and start up Audacity one more time to make sure those changes are in place. Next, we're going to run a little test. Hit the record button. When you're in record mode, you should see sound registering on the recorded track, and you should see the input level bouncing around. The input level should be bouncing around minus 12 dB, and it'll indicate a little peak value that should never get any higher than zero. If it's too hot and bouncing too high, take the input control and bring it back down until it's at a better level. Make sure it's not too low, or you're not recording all the, the detail that you could be. If it's too high and it starts bouncing way up here, you might see red marks and you might see clipping in the signal. So bring it back down to the happy level where it is peaking at around a little bit less than zero and the gain is generally speaking around minus 12. Once you get that, you can get rid of that test track and then start recording your actual track. And once your track is recorded, hit the stop button. The next thing that confounds people is how you save the files. You've got a couple of choices. People's instinct is to go file and save the project. And if you do, you will save this as an AUP file. An AUP file is actually an Audacity project file. And that's quite okay. But it is not something that you can upload to a website or put into Premiere or Flash. An AUP is simply something that lets you add more tracks to it and continue editing at a later time. It preserves all the individual tracks that you might record at any given time. And a file save will save that project. If you really want to save this thing and hand it in, you probably want to use File and Export. Export gives you a few choices. A WAV file, which is CD quality, and if you hit Save, it'll give you the option to add more information. Or you can save this, or export it rather, as an MP3. And an MP3 has some extra options that are worth paying attention to. The quality that is down here typically defaults to 128 kilobits per second, but better quality can be had with 256 kilobits per second. And I'll say OK. Now, what this looks like when you save it shows up down here. These two files are very, very compatible WAV and MP3 file formats. The Audacity project file is a little trickier. It is absolutely useless unless you keep the information in the test data folder. The information in test data is kind of like the bits and pieces of IKEA furniture, where the AUP is like the instructions. One without the other is fairly useless. So if you move these things around, move them as a pair. And that's all the way through the, uh, the, the setup and the recording and the saving of an Audacity project. Hopefully that helps you out. See what you can do. Good luck recording.